it's a mess, so let's get into it. No! No more tea! I can't handle it! I can't take it anymore! It's too much! Earlier this month, I made a video criticizing tea channels over their terrible coverage with Gabby Hanna. And nobody went out of the way to manipulate the mom, the narrative, and now who's to blame more than Angelica Oles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should check out my last video, because within hours of it being up, it led to a complete meltdown on Angelica's behalf. She blamed everyone but herself. She tweeted, I've been called out by Gabby for exploiting Bianca and her family, yet this is a friend of the commentary guys that she supports. Never heard her call him out on this victim blame. Blaming. Why would Gabby know who Turkey Tom is? I talked to Turkey Tom. He's never interacted with Gabby. So this is literally Angelica just making stuff up. She then shows a clip of Turkey Tom's old video covering Bianca Devin's death. He did give a pretty distasteful take in it. But what's that have to do with you? Why are you changing the subject? Gabby has said that you need to apologize to herself and the mother for turning a t-shirt compliment into a problem. You used the murder of a child to exploit me. Angelica Oles, you started this thing. You absolutely above all need to take accountability for that. Apologize to the family. The mother has said that the drama channels were indeed the problem for turning her daughter into a weapon. All these drama channels that are, you know, using Bianca for clout, it's absolutely ridiculous that's because that's all you're doing. We are offended about and you guys also should be. And that said, even though she didn't want an apology, Gabby deserves one. And I made clear in my video that you guys were wrong in every aspect of the double down and are doing exactly what you criticized Gabby for. She would just like take a situation and be like, no, this is none of this is my fault. This is all everyone else's fault. They're all provoking me. They're all talking about me. Dude, you realize that's you. It's Turkey Tom's fault. It's Gabby's fault. It's the commentary guy's fault. What am I apologizing for? I even said on Twitter, Ah, yes, shifting blame instead of just owning up for your own mistakes. Don't you trash Gabby for doing that same thing? But here's where the irony reaches all new heights. Angelica, who's simply in trouble for not apologizing or taking accountability for her terrible coverage of Gabby Hanna, then calls out Gabby in the commentary channels for not going after Turkey Tom for his bad takes in his Bianca Devins video. But here's the twist. Tom apologized the moment she pointed it out. Tom unlisted at his video, Angelica still has hers up. So it ends up just making her look worse. It proves her point. She demands accountability from others, but she can't hold herself to those same standards. She has since deleted the tweet. I replied with, if you just own up and apologize, you realize this stops, right? You won't have to keep shifting blame on your timeline and deleting tweets. Let's be real. Tom isn't even relevant to this story. She's just trying to get out of it. Like always, just say sorry. It's so easy. Guys, what am I owning up to and apologizing for today? My existence? No, but it is starting to annoy me. Everyone knows what you're supposed to apologize for, but you apparently. Gabby being a rape apologist? Commentary guys defending said rape apologist? Did I defend rape in my last video? Does that have anything to do with what you did wrong? Gabby being a rape apologist. Angelica Olds, everybody. I'm sure this was a very well-researched opinion from her. Yes, the girl who has criticized someone for not reading an article that she also didn't read apparently has looked into this very long, convoluted story. I'm sure she's read the hours of DMs, text messages, tweets. She couldn't even be bothered to read her Mutual's Cordwitz Twitter thread. She replied with, I ain't reading all that. I'm sure Angelica took this very sensitive and nuanced story and fairly reported it on both sides. She definitely didn't write. Anything Gabby says is a lie or exaggeration or a deluded idea she has of the situation. Very unbiased. Is this really a person that should be covering stories? Is the way she goes about this responsible at all? I don't think any T channel has accurately laid out the Jesse Smiles, Gabby saga. So let's settle this story right here. This is the full timeline. In 2014, Jesse and Gabby were not friends. In fact, she didn't even know Jesse or Curtis personally. Jesse was an ex-girlfriend of Curtis when while sleeping in the same bed as him, he raped her. When the story broke, Gabby made some arrogant tweets alluding that she was siding with Curtis. It's near impossible to find a screenshot of this tweet because she deleted it so fast. Trust me, I've tried to find it. I was like, oh shit, I remember this. I tweeted this and deleted it like a minute later because at that point, if you don't remember, we have no idea who Curtis was later found guilty in court and charged with a minor in assault. Gabby and Jesse then became friends after Gabby apologized. They made videos together. They even moved in together. To be clear, Gabby throughout this whole time was not called a rape apologist. Water under the bridge. Then they had their falling out. Gabby called Jesse crazy. I myself have had some crazy bitch moments, but there is a huge astronomical difference between having crazy bitch moments and 
being a crazy bitch. It wasn't over any one thing. It just sounds like they drove each other nuts as roommates. In one instance, I guess Jesse stole Gabby's crush. I was like, no, you mean Drew? You like Drew? And she's like, yeah, you know I liked him. And I'm not even joking. That is exactly how she fucking said it. It was actually a really nice time. Apparently we had too many drinks because, you know, adult things took place, but... In another report, it says it wasn't about a boy at all. That it was because... Jesse claimed Gabby used her for social media success and followers. Either way, it's stupid. Who cares? In 2015, after they had a falling out, Gabby suddenly became a rape apologist again for a tweet she made a year before that was deleted so fast a screenshot doesn't even exist. Gabby, who now moved, was living in an apartment filled with Vine stars. She was invited to a Vine networking party with her friends. Someone then invited Curtis, who showed up to the party. Curtis, hearing about Gabby's falling out with Jesse, decided to go up and talk to her. This was the conversation. I got a call from an unknown number and answered it. And it was him. He said, I heard what happened and I want to apologize apologize for being so unkind to you in the past. And I said, thanks for the apology, but just so you know, I'd never side with you publicly, regardless of what she did. Now there's inconsistency on whether this happened over the phone or at a party. Number one, you lied. He didn't call you. You hung out with Curtis's friends. Or both. But they both agree on the contents of the conversation. Gabby and Jesse were no longer friends when this happened. This was after we had stopped being friends. They both agree that Gabby didn't side with Curtis. Who cares? Like, just hang up, fuck him. Jesse, I don't, like, literally fuck him. I agree. Fuck him. So what's the problem? What more is Gabby supposed to do? She's supposed to leave the party and her friends because someone who hates her and is now holding a tweet over her head wants her to? Knowing the full timeline, is this statement by Angelica Oles fair to the commentary community? Gabby? Or even Jesse? It's so clear she doesn't know what she's talking about. She says stuff that Jesse doesn't even agree with. When we have criticized Gabby Hanna, it was to do with the Jesse Smiles situation. If you guys don't know, let's just recap. Gabby Hanna was friends with uh, Jesse Smiles' rapist. We just got a pause and appreciate for a moment how hilarious it is that in a video where Angelica is getting called out for getting a story wrong, she defends herself by getting another story wrong. Jesse Smiles agrees that Gabby was never friends with Curtis. Making it sound like I'm friends with him. No, I'm not. Gabby Hanna was friends with uh, Jesse Smiles' rapist, um, and she was associating with him. And if you guys think that that is a lie, or if Gabby Hanna has told you a different story. I will link Jesse Smell's thread where she has a phone call with Gabby Hanna about this. I need everyone to pay attention because this part is fucking magical. The link that Angelica provides goes to the exact thread where Jesse Smiles agrees that Gabby was not friends with Curtis. Making it sound like I'm friends with him. No, I'm not. She links something to a statement that proves her wrong and her fans are like, yeah, 32,000 likes, upvote that. Angelica Oles, everybody, 500k YouTuber. Doesn't have time to read the article before giving her opinion on it. Doesn't have time to to listen to Jesse Smiles' phone call before giving her opinion on it, doesn't have time to read Cordwood's tweet before giving her opinion on it, and doesn't have time to watch my video before giving her opinion on it. That's her excuse for everything. She doesn't have to get anything right or do any research because that's her opinion. I personally don't think it does, but that's just like a difference of opinion. Um, These are all my opinions, by the way. So if you don't agree, that's cool. And Gabby, if you're watching this, my opinion, allegedly, you know, all those things. I'll translate. Gabby, please don't sue me for being wrong all the goddamn time. How about you try having an educated opinion for once? It would be easier on all of us. Her and Repzilla are the only people I've seen cite something that proves their argument wrong. What is wrong with this community? I have a suggestion. If you can't even be bothered to do the bare minimum research, just put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Here, I'll write it for you. Disclaimer. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never known what I'm talking about. And hopefully you don't know what I'm talking about either. That way nobody can ever hold me accountable. My opinion, allegedly, all those things, don't sue me, please. I have some other things I quickly want to touch on. In her response to me and other people calling her out, she said, uh, I'm not going to take the video down. I might either cut out the Gabby Hanna bit because you can like edit, post, upload on YouTube, or I can just turn off the or I can just turn off monetization on the video. Well, it's been three weeks and she hasn't done either of those things. The video's still monetized. Nothing's been edited out. She's just saying whatever she can so people will leave her alone. In my last video, part of my criticism was that she made 27 videos on Gabby Hanna. She's since made three more. Correction, she's now made five more. But now it's not what Gabby says or does that's wrong. It's when she's not doing anything. That's the problem. So we have Gabby Hanna. She hasn't posted on YouTube, but I feel like that's more of a statement than actually 
posting. This has to be a parody, right? I mean, she's got to be fucking with us. When Gabby's doing nothing, she's still making the headlines. I, I mean, this is the cycle. When Gabby does anything, she's in trouble. They exaggerate. She hates the minimum wage. I'm sorry, Gabby, but not everyone's a fucking millionaire from making sh videos. Some people have minimum wage jobs and they trusted you when you said those are really good quality brushes for ten dollars. When Gabby does say something to defend herself, it's still her fault. It's her fault for bringing it up again. So she brings her up and then she does this series and she brings her up again and she says that I and she names me for 15 minutes. Cause you suck. No matter what she says, what evidence she shows, it's never good enough. You guys never give her a fair shake. And now if Gabby just says nothing and shuts the fuck up, that's somehow an even bigger statement. She hasn't posted on YouTube, but I feel like that's more of a statement than actually posting. So again, what is she supposed to do? Seriously, this is the most unjustified, unfair hate train I've ever seen on YouTube. I hope for just one day you have to deal with the same hate you've been putting on Gabby for the past three years. Because when you had to deal with it for only four hours, you didn't handle it any better. In fact, you had a complete meltdown. Give Gabby your Tesla, you owe it to her. There is a bright side though. Angelica Oles is getting lip filler, so I'm hoping that silicone helps block some of the bullshit spewing out of her mouth. These tea channels are a problem, I can't stress it enough. YouTube has been cracking down on drama channels over the past four years. These people repeatedly going after the same person, giving them no chance for redemption. It can hurt us. YouTube enacts policies with a broad stroke. You guys acting carelessly can hurt everyone. This is exactly why our genre is under fire. Have some pride in what you do. Do your fucking job. Just own up and apologize to Gabby Hanna. Do what Turkey Tom did. Oh, uh, also, you should probably take down those videos teaching girls how to catfish. It's a bad look. I can only imagine what you guys would have said if these same videos were on Gabby's channel. For the love of God, someone hold Angelica Oles responsible. She's the fucking worst. Close your fucking mouth. You're just really fucking dense. If you hate me, why you talking? You don't make no fucking sense. Got a sad life, sad life. Go to fucking hell. Are you stupid or disabled, man? I can't fucking tell.